it is a bit out of order for the governments you know around the world to just say no nah, you can't do it because we want it for the betterment of everyone but they're not actually saving people right nothing's actually changing in that regard if any, if anything they've maybe improved the processes in the hospitals in terms of knowing how to deal with people who are you know who do have a positive covid test and maybe have some dire symptoms or maybe you know have some pre-existing health conditions from whatever so far hospitals have sort of like got their processes down pat for the most part but outside of that like the governments have no idea how to support various industries they don't want to get and understandably some governments don't want to just sign you know just be writing blank checks to certain industries to keep them afloat um businesses are obviously crumbling people's mental health is all declining that there was a story of some local promoter in manchester who recently um took his own life and they're now alluding to the fact that it might have been in part with you know the state of the the world or the state of the uk at the moment now his entire identity was wrapped up in being a promoter and you know living that hedonistic nightlife world and suddenly for that whole entire thing to get pulled out from under your feet and for there to be no even light at the end of the tunnel that's the issue too for somebody who's got mental health issues already because i'm assuming you know i i don't know how that goes but i would assume you probably had some sort of issues prior to that guy taking his life um i actually I shouldn't let me get his name up actually um so i don't just speak about somebody like this without putting their name up uh manchester is it manchester uh promoter promoter is it josh i think it's josh something isn't it josh wilson yeah i think that's it josh wilson um yeah so this is it right so this is from dj mike um so r.i.p josh wilson for this because super sad as well oh he, he's the one that did oh jesus christ i didn't know that okay i've seen that promotion name before i don't know how you pronounce it uh foily or foley bloody hell so it's from dj mike fundraiser launch for family of late birmingham foley party promoter josh wilson um, fundraiser has been launched for the family of late Birmingham party promoter Josh Wilson. Wilson was found, uh, sorry, who founded the popular Folly Party series in 2016, tragically took his own life last week. Uh, Wilson was an integral part of the city and wider regions club scene with the friends sharing that he was very much a central and prominent figure in everything good happening in the scene in the past few years. Uh, I don't know if you pronounce it, is it Foley or Foley? Foley was growing over the years to um, capacities in the thousands at the mill venue with the firm focus on showcasing rising local talent of emerging DJs such as uh, Tyron Amory, Josh Gregg, Jake Whitehouse, Roberto Ruan, Shakti and Shelby. A statement showed on Foley's face social media on Saturday paid tribute to Wilson said the following josh was hugely loved and respected by so many and the hard work and dedication passion he applied to make sure fully was a success was second to none he took great pride in perfecting everything from to lineups to the decor and all around positive vibes he brought to his events josh will always uh, seem to find a way to overcome the barriers god damn well, how heartbreaking a go finding page has been set up to raise funds for josh's funeral and for his immediate family nine-year-old son Folly also stated that he planned events will go ahead as, as planned using a vision and direction he has shared amongst the team. The statement continues, we determined to at least make this as half a legendary as Brown Town legend would have done. The sad news comes at a time when mental health remains a concern in the music industry. Yeah, and that's an issue I have as well, man. Like, RIP to Josh, but it's like, how many more of these are, are going to pop up over the time, over, over, you know, over the course of time that we're dealing with this virus? And there seems to be no... Uh, like light in the tunnel I'm, I'm again i'm pretty sure he I, i'm not not, not say to say him because i don't know any of his business but let's assume he probably had his he was fighting his demons prior to the lockdown but i'm sure it wasn't helped with the lack of you know light in the tunnel no real idea as to when your life that you've intentionally you've entirely given like i've been watching the larry Le, larry levine documentary about the paradise garage nightclub in new york seminal nightclub in like what the 70s late 70s early 80s right seminal nightclub right um kind of the the home the the other the other seminal nightclub that wasn't studio 54 right um known for being a safe haven for you know the lgbtq community in new york especially latinos and blacks and just a seminal you know legendary place for loads of really great you know amazing house and tech, tech disco djs from back in the day and I remember there's a clip of Larry Levine in the beginning of the documentary saying something like, oh, going out is like not just about going out, right? It's a, it's more than that. It's like a lifestyle. It's a, it's you. It's like a part of your identity. It forms everything that you do. Your entire week, like myself being a, an avid nightlife aficionado and also a, a DJ, my entire week was, you know, geared around the weekend. Whether it was just 
what again this is the odd thing too looking back at you know my previous life or our previous life before covid even if it involved just me sitting at home watching a stream of somebody playing somewhere in their home or it, it was me going out somewhere right just the idea of of knowing that okay cool this is when you get this is when you get larry this is when you go and meet some randoms this is where you go see your dj that you've always wanted to see this is where you might see them play that fave that tune that you always like this is where you're going to cl- connect with your local community but it was an integral part of what you did it made life worth living it honestly did especially in the uk where you know sponta- spontaneous fun is sort of like outlawed Whenever people, you know, discover a little fun thing that they can exploit, the government come down with their hammer and sort of outlaw it outright. So nightclubs are the only safe haven for some of the freaks, weirdos, creatives and eccentrics that we have in our community or in our scene or in our population. That's the only place that you have bars and nightclubs really to express yourself and live a little. That's it. That's probably why there's been such a prevalence of like private member clubs, you know, uh, accommodating everyone on the pay scale, right? From the poorest to the to the people with the most money. There's always a private member club that exists. And that mostly has to do with people just wanting somewhere they can go to and just let loose. So imagine how much more for somebody as a promoter in a scene like Birmingham, which I've been to, right? It's a very small scene, right? Um, there's a everyone knows each other for the most part there's not a lot of stuff going on but the stuff that is going on is flipping amazing so if you're that main guy that everyone kind of goes to when they want to put on shows when they want to get in front of a big audience whatever when they want to sell some tickets when they want a recommendation on some your eyes up and coming and then suddenly that entire part of your life that was probably the thing that actually kept you alive is gone no wonder such tragic news that this happens isn't it no wonder no wonder and again um these are like the unintended consequences of covid because i'm sure the government i'm not sure well, i'm sure i would i would i would like to believe the government you know weren't you know they didn't kind of seek out to put us in a position where we had people that were within our peer group that were taking their own lives because they didn't see any point of living i'm pretty sure they didn't want to do that but the unfortunate thing is because they haven't dealt with COVID in any sort of meaningful way, because they haven't looked at the evidence, because they're not doing things in an interesting way and just kind of following whatever else, well, they're just following whatever whatever happened in, in Italy. They're just following that kind of response. Of course, you know, that's understandable considering, you know, how fast it spread in Italy. But now that we've got more information about what happened, you know, the different lifestyle choices that might make certain countries more suitable than others and just general, you know, differences in how we approach things, it could have been nice to just have a, a bespoke response to COVID in the UK, something that kind of spoke to our um, inclinations. It kind of spoke to our habits. It spoke to the things that we kind of give a shit about. Instead, this kind of blanket approach that's only, for the most part, I've seen so far, is only affecting the people who are the most vulnerable, whether it's the people that don't have the means to support themselves or the people that have these conditions, whether they're physical or mental, that are not necessarily benefiting from all this uncertainty and ambiguity, isn't it? It's just so tragic, man. It really, really is tragic. And again, my thoughts and feelings and whatever go out to Josh's family, um, could, I don't even know what they could be feeling during this time, family and friends. And I don't know, I guess the only thing that I can get from this, the only silver lining, of course, they've got a GoFundMe page set up. So definitely I'll put the link of that below in the show notes. That's going to be great to make sure that the family isn't hurting. But I'm sure the local Birmingham scene will gather around and make sure his son is looked after. But I'm also certain that once things do reopen, there'll be an opportunity to like, you know, celebrate his life in the best possible way and give him the send off that he actually deserves right um and maybe kind of you know use his legacy and use what he's built as an avenue to maybe you know speak to kids in industry speak to people going through other things such as what he went through um because you know it looks like the government don't want to do it in it and don't want to figure it out so we're gonna have to just figure it ourselves as a community but yeah r.i.p josh wilson gone but not forgotten and hopefully um this hopefully um his his death is not in vain man hopefully not